Good morning and welcome to Victory Point Gaming. Today we are analysing a recent loss. It was a really interesting one. We lost to a player who was very strong um, and highly rated. They had 400 um, ELO points on board Game Arena and it was relatively close. I know that we made at least one notable mistake at the beginning of the game, certainly, probably others. And um, at the end of the game I saw that they had some really interesting stuff going on with their map, so I thought it'd be interesting, perhaps informative, to have a look at this game from their point of view. So let's take a look here. Um, in this game they have Large Animal Zoo and Reason. <laughs> Excuse me, Large Animal Zoo and Research Zoo. So, um, probably Research Zoo is the easiest of those. Bugs Person is a good card. Um, that's quite a nice one. Getting Species Diversity is a possibility. Um, this is a European thing, kind of goes with that. Um, I looked at this and I thought probably this one this one, this one, and this one, I, um, or maybe this. I know that what they ended up keeping was um, this, so. So, they keep the bird, the bird breeding program, native farm animals, which is an easy tag, and spokesperson, which is just generally a good card. All right, so. Now, here, blue immediately takes the European handshake, which is kind of awkward for uh, red. That's exactly what they wanted to do. Um, I think I went ahead and I snapped small animals, yeah. And now, question is, what does red do with this position? Um, it's, ha it's hard to know what to do. Cards off the top, I would assume. No, they do actually associate. So, I guess Americas? Alright, they go ahead and they take some reputation. That makes sense. To enable playing this card, I suppose. Blue takes herbivore breeding. And... I'm pretty sure this is the spot where I build and actually do it the wrong side far away from the rock where it needs to be. Screw this up almost in immediately. Built here and it needs to be next to the rock. It's not a really good start when you're trying to play against a extremely strong player. Alright, so uh, cards now I suppose. Alright. So... I know that they keep this because they proceeded to play this here and then go this way with the cable car, which I would just blew my mind. Um, I'm not sure what they are discarding here. I'm guessing they're keeping this one. Um, probably large experts, but you never know. Okay, they do get rid of large experts, so despite having large animal zoo here, that is very much not the plan. Clearly, microscopes is the way forward. Blue is sponsoring and plays Herpetologist. That's a pretty nice one. I remember that they got some cash from that from my place. Because I screwed up, I then had to take an X token. Terrible. So, now... What we might, might see here is a build onto this, and then... kind of thing. No, they actually do sponsors. Playing the spokesperson. So here they're thinking they want to get a quick um, upgrade or two. Blue decides to build. Did I get another X token? What on earth am I doing? No wonder I didn't win. Alright. So here... If I recall correctly, blue 
uh, red builds a size 2 here and then places down the cable car. This is something I never would consider. I think it's great. It's very interesting. Pop down the cable car like so, drawing another card. And I'm guessing they take the science lab. Now, that makes more sense when considering it draws a microscope card and we're going big into microscopes, we know that much already. They do not take the science lab. Okay, that's really got me baffled now. I was guessing that that was the whole point of that. But I guess this is a rocky creature. So they're thinking every rock is going to give two tickets. So perhaps the thinking here is that this is not going to go anywhere. Alright, blue plays an animal or two. Alright, just the one. I do my building in the great place this time. But that initial error aside, I feel like this game went pretty well for me. Um, and I was competitive through to the end there. So here, we might see animals being plain, but I would expect to see maybe um, another build. I expect that the plan here was to do this. They are pretty close to already upgrading and a size 1 here would make sense considering there's a size 1 needed. Okay, they are not. They are just going ahead and playing the animal. So they get their tickets and they get some bonus tickets because of the cable card and draw card. Alright. So my plan here, the reason I haven't associated is because I have two America's creatures in hand, and it would have been super easy to play those out if I hadn't messed up. Which had a kind of a knock-on effect on how long it took me to do all of this. So I needed to play both, and then I needed to associate, and I needed the X, extra X token in order to animals here, so it would have been a lot faster had I not messed up. Here I, animals. And had I done all this bit faster, I would have been able to take an association worker. In the end, I decided to take size 2, which was also fine with my small animal strategy, but I probably would have preferred to have taken... an association worker early. So here, red gets rid of association for an X. Perfectly reasonable. Although we are quite close to the end of the round, so... I guess they really want to draw more cards, which um, I'm not sure about. Or maybe they're thinking of playing the sponsor to reduce the number of cards in hand. So I finally associate and take America's. At this point I take size 2's, it gives me some more cash. Being 9 or 12, I thought there's not much point taking the association worker. Okay. So the sponsor goes down. And native farm animals is just for one ticket here. I guess they don't want to discard. Seems like a interesting play. Okay, blue is doing some carting. I'm just building a bit around the lake. Makes my income pretty decent, to be honest. And at this point they do build, and they do build a size 1. I don't understand why they didn't do that before animals sing. Probably had their reasons. They upgrade animals. Interesting. I'm not sure what the priority, you know, what the rush is for that, to upgrade animals. They're really pushing hard on reputation, I suppose. Blue plays a creature and gets a bit of money back. And I sponsors. That was a pretty decent one actually. Gave me five tickets. 
I was really reasonably happy with that. So, interesting. Um, I think Red was waiting for the round to end and decided to force it because it was taking a while. I don't know if they're just looking for better stuff or what, but uh, quite clearly here they're going to overdraw. Oh, and they ended up snapping, so it wasn't an overdraw, it's, they actually did won that one. Alright, so here they can discard some stuff down. Um, I'm guessing that it would be these two. It's a bit of a shame, but... Okay, no, they get rid of the bird breeding program. Fair enough. So what's their thinking? What exactly are they going for? Presumably... Europe handshake. But the blue's going to get to Europe first. So, um... I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about them discarding bird breeding program there. So we might learn something from this. I get my free size too. And with it, I claim the petting zoo creature. I was pretty happy with that play. Okay, so yes. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. So Blue decides to go with her before breeding, which means Europe is still up for grabs. That's um, that's interesting. I guess they figure that they're going to go bigger on Europe than just two. It's very reasonable. So that gives um, Red then out. If they can find a herb before, they would still need to have the handshake though. No cards. All right, so here we're having an association. They're just getting a second university by the looks of it. So probably this one, hand size. We weren't too happy about discarding two cards, I suppose. And upgrades, so. um, I feel like cards might be what they do, honestly. They go with sponsors. Right, they want to get this. Of course they do, right, I should have thought a bit more about that one. So now they can play that one. They are going for a kind of um, microscopy strategy. That makes a lot of sense. It's going to draw them a lot of cards and the higher they go on here, the better it's going to be. So I take a university. And now they go ahead and sponsors. Drawing another card, probably Technology Institute, right? Yeah, that was a pretty nice little sequence, to be fair. They had a lot of end game scoring, uh, end game scoring, ultimately, so all of this is helping. I remember looking up and seeing they'd upgraded sponsors um, relatively early, and that was quite surprising. Alright, so I build my petting zoo. I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. Lucent, I would say. Filling out a bit with the pavilion. And I took a lizard, I think. Alright, so here. Um this can be played. I still don't see any solid plan for them in terms of conservation. Low mountain range is quite nice. I do recall that this was pivotal at the end of the game. Um, not having upgraded build is painful, honestly. They choose to the animals. So once again, they're playing one animal. They're upgraded animals. I guess they get the reputation and the extra worker. So that must be the priority there. They were thinking to themselves, this, I can't associate basically. So I'm going to get my extra worker. One way or another, I'm going to go up here. Make sure I get my extra worker. They prioritize that. So I wonder what they're going for here. Probably going to take Europe. So they were thinking Europe if won't go. It's a risky strat. Somebody could have taken Europe quite easily. But I guess there's no threat now. Maybe it's not so risky. Alright, then you blue couldn't take Europe. 
and then knew that I I had committed already that I wasn't going to take it. So next button, small animals goes down. No tickets, but it's going to give me some good discounts. Here they build, and yeah, it's just going to be a size. It's not going to be a uh, many things, but I guess it can build a size more. And wow. Um, they went for a size 5, actually. I remember I looked at the board at this point and I was like, what's going on? They built a size 5 and they can draw something. Now, that placement bonus is here, if I remember correctly. So, was that play specifically just to draw? It would have been playing a size 5 so that they can draw something. Um, This one, I suppose, maybe? No, no. They want another rock creature. So here, they have their rock synergy. They are just going all ham on rocks. They really want all the rocks. They want their endgame scoring from this rock, and they want to get points every time, every single time they do a rock thing. That seems reasonable, yeah. Guess they don't rate this one as much, but that's going to give a lot of money if they do it. What does this do exactly? I never read the whole thing. Okay. Alright, so bleed some drawing of cards. I'll do some digging. Upgrade my animals action. Alright, so let's have a think here. Red Hat doesn't have any money. So and there's quite a long time left in the rounds. I think that taking European handshake would be reasonable. Yeah, there we go, European handshake happens. Hey, uh, you're right. That's game zone. I'm just having a look through um, a very interesting game that we had yesterday. And this is from the point of view of a very strong player. So I'm just having a look to see what they're doing. They started by doing this very strange stuff along here. Covering up this, playing a sponsor for cash bonus and just going like this. Very interesting. Just very strange the way they built out the map. Doing a whole rock strategy. And microscopes. Rocks and microscopes, basically. Alright. I'm going, getting lots of creatures, and then that's going pretty well for me so far. Selling some stuff. Managed to get, I think, two petting zoo creatures down, or just one. But I have more, I think. Alright, so here, back to red. They still don't have any money. They could well play this, and it might be good considering it could be useful. Um, they want to keep playing sponsor cards when it comes up. They don't have any more right now, but if they draw more, yeah, they sponsor, why not? Look at all these sponsors already. Six, six, uh, sorry, five, 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 six, five. And it's only round two, maybe? It's round two. Right, nine to 12. Blue gets some cash. At this point, I'm a bit low on cash too. I'll do a little big, a little dig. This isn't very um good. Like, sure, it's fine. I'm getting some cash and stuff, but... Yeah, that, I don't know how good that was, honestly. Alright, so here... Red gets some cards. And takes the low mountain range. And this is absolutely critical later. Here they're thinking they want to put this one in here, and then release it, probably. That is what they eventually do. They hold on to this card till the very end of the game, and it's absolutely critical.
it's because what they end up doing is they use the Silver Lake Determination bonus. So they do this, release a bird, have another action, and then they put another bird in it. Not that it needs to be another bird, but... Alright, I do some cards as well. I get an X token. And I do end up having to discard a little bit. Hello. All right, so I get my free stuff. So, Science Lab. What's that going to be for, I wonder? So they are clearly very interested in getting rocky creatures. Um, but I don't see any of those at the moment. They can draw something from Reputation Range or one from the top. I would imagine one from the top here. Um, probably. Or maybe this. Can't quite draw that yet. Well, they do indeed take a uh, kangaroo. It's reasonable. I'm not sure what the exact thinking is there. Probably pouch. Alright. So because I broke, they get the first dibs on taking a, a thing here. And they go for this. So they're upgrading another card. Seem to be prioritising getting upgrades here. They still have not conserved. But they do have the second worker because they push so hard on this track that they did actually make a second worker even without conserving. Okay. Blue takes the uni. What do I do here? I managed to support species diversity. And I figure that I'm close enough to getting my worker from this source that there's no point taking the worker, so I end up taking income. And I'm pretty close to actually getting another bonus here. So, what's the plan here for red? They can play only one animal right now, so they could potentially build first. Seems so strange to me not upgrading build all this time. They're just animals playing one animal again. Maybe they're going to take this. They do. So they play that bird. And yeah, okay, right, sure. They get a multiplier and build. That makes a lot of sense. So perhaps the thinking here is that because they knew they were going to get the multiplier on build, they felt like it wasn't really important to upgrade build so much. So I'm going quite well here, 37 points already. So build makes sense. And no, they don't build at all, they're just cards. Alright. Um I guess they want this. They must really want this, I guess. Right. Okay, well that's a pretty nice one for them, that's for sure. Okay. It 
it does mean that with release of patents they can get three conservation points and then five more so they can get an actual chance of getting this university and a good bonus here they can actually do that um for the next three turns they build first and then they sponsor and associate they might as well sponsor us now and get it back sooner rather than later their sponsors card is clearly they love their sponsors card they're playing their sponsors card at every possible opportunity it's the opposite of what I do I always try to make my sponsors card come back as slow as possible um, I guess association right and they completely ignore build I guess on this map build is um, a pretty easy one to ignore very interesting. This is completely the opposite of what I'm doing. As you can see, <laughs> I'm doing small animals, getting free size twos, building every opportunity. But here, they are not doing much building. And I suppose their strategy is to be doing things, releasing them, doing them, releasing them. It's very interesting to see people not upgrading build. I find that fascinating. So blue is going to <laughs> build a size one. I wonder how many actions I spelt, spent building like single pavilions and stuff this game. So I took a partner zoom, decided I wanted Asia. Fair enough. I think I was eyeing up this creature and I also had Sun Bear in hand, so. So here we're going to have conservation projects, no doubts, to release Europe. Oh no. Okay. Curious. They do, don't do that. They decide to just do this. So, what? Let's have a think about that. What is the rationale for this? Like, there's no... There's no rush to take this, is there? Species diversity. They could have just released a bird. Obviously, that would impact the income. They would have got five, because they weren't here. They could have got five and taken both of these bonuses. Instead, they choose to go for this and just maybe they really want the university, but I don't know why they did not go for. I'm sure it will come to me in a second. Why didn't they do this or this? I guess they don't want to lose the income. In the microscopes. Huh? How did that work? I'm confused. So what exactly happened there? I'm a bit confused. So we're on turn 297. Let's rewind. Not exactly sure what happened. This might mess up the card counts in hand. But never mind. All right, so oh, I didn't go far back now. All right, um, need to go further.
All right, so this is where it happens. We got possible association. So first of all, they don't choose to build. They choose to take species diversity three. So they managed to get all the way up here despite doing that. So this gets them two conservation points. University gives them um, two microscopes, which is two hats. So they go like this. So they associate for five. They take species diversity three, which gets them up to this point. Then they take the university, which gives them two hats here. Gives them another conservation point. All oh, right, of course they. I I um forgot that they got the two conservation points for getting the university. So that's what got them all the way up to here. So they got they one here. They got two. They got another two. They got another one because of this here. So they figured they could get all of their bonuses without having to give up any of these cards. So inter interesting. So two was enough for them at this point. Okay. This they're gonna get money or X tokens. So money they go for. And donating. Okay, well, I did notice that they had an absolutely enormous amount of conservation points at the end of this game. So, this is the beginning of it, I guess. They're still a bit behind me right now, in terms of total points. So, at this point, this little monkey is now in my range, so I think I choose... Oh no, I don't. Alright, I did a bit of pouching. It's in my range now. Alright, so what is Red going to do here? They made a lot, uh, well, they made quite a bit of money from going over here, so, and they did take income as well, so, that was actually their first conservation, their first conservation and they got all the way over there, so release of patents did help considerably, they got three from release of patents, two from this project, another two from doing their last university, and another one, or possibly... Well, one from displacement bonus and one from donation. That's very impressive considering they've only conserved here for two. So, building would make sense. Can they build two size fives? Is that, and is that what they're planning? Um, I'm not even sure whether they can place two size fives, to be honest. Assuming that's even what they want. They are building. The builder size two and a size one. They I'm absolutely baffled. So they built a size two and a size one with a multiplier build that they've been holding on to for ages. So blue takes species diversity in the middle slots. Second. Okay, so I'll do a bit of carding. Here. 
here only these animals can be played, the two small ones. They boost up here at the right moment, which means they can take something. But what are they going to have? I honestly couldn't tell you. I've got no clue at this moment. The way this player plays is just absolutely boggling to my mind. Okay, Aquarium. Right. Sure. Water icons become more tickets. Makes sense. Play a stoat. And draw a card. Play that one. Get some bonus tickets. At this point, it's a, maybe a little bit late to get side entrance. I think I end up taking it anyway because it helps me fill out the zoo. Alright, so sponsors, the aquarium can go down. Over here, I suppose. I like that, it's fun. How strange. So I guess the priority is not to build a size 5. Um, one can go here potentially, but uh, that's about it. Isn't this the most bizarre map you've ever seen? So right now they're on 39 points, we're on 60. So they are going to have to hurry up with whatever it is that they do. So they have these two. I don't know if they are... Uh, they don't have a super strong hand right now. They can release a bird. This one can be released for five conservation points either way. I cause a break because clearly I want to get more money and just... My income is huge. I've got 43 income and everyone else is in the 20s, so... I'm happy to break, I want my cash back, I can get more animals. I feel like this is really going well for me at this point. Get my enclosure. So, science lab, what's the card to draw here? They take... Another watery bird. And there's an eagle, and that's really nice. So, they go for an association eight at this point, okay? Getting a Australia handshake and are able to support Europe 4. Yeah, I remember thinking that was fine move because um, 4 for 4 conservation points is perfectly alright. It's interesting. I think they know that they're, they're going to start releasing some stuff so they want to get it while they can, which is uh, reasonable. get the last association work at some point. So they know they're going research, they already have six. No bonus points for that last association worker, but it's kind of useful. They get some more conservation points for associating. Nobody else is associating. And at this point, I can't do anything. I can't take the bald eagle I'd like to, but I can't. Right now, I'm actually in a position where I can't even go up here. I've been too slow in upgrading my cards actually in this game. And I think this pans down to the fact that I messed up in the very first, before the first break, and I ended up having to take an X token before the first break, which I think this would have been upgraded by now, if not, probably. 
I break cards. And I do that. So I do get the elephant, but um, unfortunately, not the bird. So here, red draws the bird. I have a whole load of cards in hand. Get rid of the petting to animal because why would you ever want that? At this point I see the rhino and I think, ooh, rhino. And it is pretty good for me. Because um, I end up going for African. Draw a bunch of stuff. So here, Red's caught me up a bit with all of their conservation points. They have a few tickets, but it's mostly conservation points. So at this point, the next action is animals, but they don't have any enclosures. So what happens now exactly? <laughs> Naturally, probably just sponsors again, right? No, they do actually build. Build something small. They build a size three. It's all so weird. It's an unupgraded build. So what's their plan with the size three? And it's strange to me they've never got this bonus. Why do they need a size three exactly? All right, I did some digging. I'm thinking size four for the rhino at this point, played my side entrance, getting everything down. So here, sponsors. Expert in Asia goes down. Getting your next token. So, I'm 55. They must be planning for the end game. So we know the plan at this point is to associate low mountain range, determination, probably play this, into doing more things. And that's a great plan. I caught me by surprise when it happened. I was looking thinking they don't have any space for playing their last, um, their eagle, and then the fact that they could release something and then do the thing was a good combo, I liked it. All right, so here I decided to use my Sunbear, I think it was. I wonder if getting another association worker was a mistake. Might have been. So, back to red. Here they can do some something. Um, I think they're just animals at this point. Oh no, they choose to associate. So here they can release this bird. They do Bavarian Forest. So they do release it. Make some space. Getting some more conservation points. Donate again. It's pretty nice for them that nobody's contesting them on this at all. Like if I of us was doing it, it would be a lot worse. I don't tend to though, it's not really my thing. So sponsors for me, oh, I break. 
That's interesting. I figured I wanted a huge injection of cash from my last turn, had the elephants to play, rhinos and whatnot. So here, it's on 72. Um, I could have probably played more stuff before the break, and this might have been a critical error. Um, 26 money would have been enough for me to play, like, the rhino at least. And that might have been smart. It might have also been smart to build this out first, because I think ultimately what ends up happening ends up happening. Um... I could have done, yeah, and I think that would have been better, because I could have then potentially played the Rhino and the Elephant. Um, and what I did with that move is, I by breaking there, I actually gave them the opportunity to associate again this round. Like... I know they still have their, no matter what I do, they're still going to be able to do, to do their uh, conservation project into the bird, into whatever. Um, I gave them more money to work with by doing that, I suppose. Alright, so let's see how this pans out ultimately. I gave them an extra action too. I don't think that was a smart break. I think that was the second big error of the game. It's an interesting one. I'm not sure why they need that. They're thinking just another thing to play for lots of tickets. Alright. So they play animals, they're going to get down that thing, that thing of course because of the aquarium is 4 extra tickets and that's really big, that one is more extra tickets as well, clever can be useful, probably getting rid of cards which, or build maybe, stuff you don't need, wait no wait what, oh you get the free build action, okay. It's interesting they went for that. Oh, they moved another card to the bottom right. Go to sponsors. They know what their plan is. They're doing Animals Association. That's the general idea. If I recall correctly, I go to like 96 here at this point. Play a few animals. So I'll go ahead and I get the conservation project that I want to play next. Yeah, I've got up to 96 points. I feel like it's going quite well at this point. And the build size 2. I click through that so fast, but that's unusual, isn't it? They choose to build a size 2 enclosure. How strange. I mean, it does mean that they get more tickets when they uh, gain reputation in the future, but surely there was something better they could have done than that. Maybe not. I associate here. Feeling reasonably good. I play my Africa. And then I fill out the map at the end, which seems like the best thing I can do under the circumstances. But had I filled this out last round, I would have been in a better position. I've got loads of money. I could have d done that and still played the elephant and all. So I think that would have been better. Could have been on more points than I am now. I end up finishing with like 100. And so, here, Association 8, so they get Africa, 
they do that one. Have another action, play the bird, donate. I guess they figured out exactly all the money that they needed. They can now play the bald eagle. And because this is yet another watery creature, you can see that this um, has added up a lot in terms of water and rock over the course of the game. It's a shame for them that they didn't get the thing which, um, where it went. You know, the one which what pairs of water and rock give you extra points as well. They got a whole bunch of points for these watery rocky things as time went on. So they ended on one, two, two, but then um, they did get another action. I think they just ended up associating for uh, two hats here, ultimately. So it wasn't a great determination of the bird in the end, but it was enough for them to take the victory. We were 15 points behind after final scoring. So what can we learn from this game? Um, now, we learned that building enclosures is not the be all and end all of um, Ark Nova. You can get by without an upgrade to build and still pull a victory out. Building around um, cards that give you bonus appeal is strong. And here, they didn't necessarily have to associate for a, an early association. They ended up getting this one, and just this one was enough to get them onto point eight because of the fact that they had something else which was good and a bit of donation, a bit of this. Nobody else did any donation. I don't think that's something you can rely on though in a game. Yeah. We did a lot of um, stuff, and perhaps we spent too much time doing builds and whatnot, like it was not the most efficient use of our time maybe. So it could have been improved on. I guess um, the three, well the two, let's see how many mistakes we can count. The first mistake I made in this game was not looking at the icons on my things. I was, um, I placed the enclosure for a rocky creature not next to rock, so obviously that's a mistake. Um, that meant I had to take an X token in the first before the first break. Not ideal. I think that building out my zoo in the penultimate action round would have been better than doing it as the last part of the last action because I feel like I could have played two creatures, um, and they were kind of stalling, not doing anything particularly. So I could have had a more effective last turn. I think. I wouldn't have been able to go to like 96 like I did, but um, it would have been, I, th I think it might have been better, I'm not entirely sure. But it was quite interesting to look at it from this player's point of view and see how it could work to do a strategy which is really just a whole bunch of, um, well, just a load of expensive sponsors basically. I'm not even really sure where they played Xbox in Asia, to be perfectly honest. Gave them an X token. And a point. Well, two points. Yep. Still a bit impenetrable. I kind of understood what they did. They... Got, um... The microscope thing, they want to do microscopes, they upgraded sponsors for that reason, they found a couple of synergies, they played a lot of watery and rocky things, and just kind of went with that, got some good releases, and it was enough. Alright, we'll end the video there, hopefully that was interesting for you, um, I think I kind of get what was happening there, it's nice to see um, a different kind of strategy and it gives me food for thoughts that it's not necessarily vital to conserve early. Um, 
pushing up this track is looks stronger and stronger every single game I observe. Alright, we'll end it there. Any comments, uh, let me know below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.